Let's examine the direct materials, also called the raw materials inventory account. Here we have inventory activity for a company called Gatsby Manufacturing for the month of October. So we have a beginning balance. We don't know what the purchases are for the month, but we do know that the total materials available for use total up to be $105,675. We know that direct materials used, those are the ones that have been requisitioned out to the work in process account, equals 87000 So how much would the ending inventory be? Well, we have enough information. We can calculate this. So let's use Excel to help us figure this out. I'm going to go over here on the side and say, okay, I know the total direct materials that were available for you, 105675 I've just clicked into the sale, and I want to subtract what I started with. So that was 10000 in the beginning inventory. Then that means I must have purchased 95675 materials, whatever they would be. And then I want to check my math back and make sure this makes sense. So 10,000 plus 95,675, does that equal up to be 105,000? Yes, it does. So this looks good. And of course, you could have just put the formula in here. If you're comfortable with Excel, just say the total minus what I started with had to give me this number. Take it out of bold now that we're finished with it. I do want to underline it just to remind you that these two were an addition. Now I know that direct materials used were 87,000, so they're no longer there. So let's scroll down to see what would ending inventory be. Ending inventory would be the total that I had available for sale minus this direct material that's been used would be 87,000. And notice how it added. That is because I subtracted what was already showing to be a negative number. So I'm going to have to actually add that number so that it will work out correctly. So my ending inventory, $18,675. I'm going to double underline that. So let's talk about where these numbers would go. Beginning inventory would have been in the balance sheet at the beginning of the period. The ending balance here is going to be in the balance sheet at the end of the period, this new period, which will be October, because we're told in the problem this was for October. Nothing is expensed yet. Please watch for the next video on work in process, goods in process, to see how those calculations work out as well.